Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol with Second Swing Golf and joined today by Michael Geiger here at the Tour Van at Second Swing Minnetonk. And we've got a very kind of fun, interesting head-to-head -head comparison today. Uh, a new release here in sort of the second half of 2023 mm -hmm. has been the Callaway Apex Utility Wood for the 2024 Apex Series. And the thing was a rocket launcher. We tested it. Check out the swing report if you haven't yet. And Michael was hitting some missiles at the range at Les Bolstead. And so, um, and that utility wood idea of a club has been very hot club. And I know for some golfers out there, it's actually been a fairy wood club in the bag as served that purpose of a fairy wood. So we wanted to test it against a Cali Paradigm fairy wood today. And uh, obviously both products have a ton of ball speed packed in, uh, but they kind of are I mean, looking at them, they're two very different golf clubs. Very so different. Uh, that's going to be, I'm very curious to see what happens today. I'm very curious too. I think this video is really an, an entrant into the kind of never ending conversation of how do you fill out that top end of your yeah. bag? Kind of, uh, most people have a driver, most people have a three wood, but that kind of five wood, two iron, mm -hmm. two hybrid utility wood, it's, it's sort of a, kind of a wilderness for a lot yeah. of golfers. And Callaway has really addressed that problem. Um, they have sort of every option of that. The utility wood is, you know, being the most notable example. This will be a really interesting head-to-head -to, -head to see kind of Callaway versus Callaway, two products that have both tested really well and that are kind of intended for the same golfer. Right, and we haven't even mentioned the Super Hybrid, which is another kind of product in that example, or in that sort of niche there, mm -hmm. where it's sort of a fairy wood, sort of a hybrid. It's got kind of the best qualities of both. Uh, but so today we've got a Paradigm Triple Diamond 5 wood. The 18 degree standard head is actually adjusted up one degree to 19 mm -hmm. and we also have the 19 degree apex uw here so i know in the past the apex uw the previous model was like the ball speed was off the charts yeah. where it would actually compare very well to like a standard lofted fit three wood and so i think we're going to see a lot of ball speed off of that but i also want to i'm going to get your thoughts on the feel and kind of um what it you know looks like too because i mean the club head shapes of these are extremely different very very different no mm -hmm. i think the profile is obviously the most notable example um, and, and that ball speed kind of, uh, the, the testing numbers will mm -hmm. also be uh, an interesting conversation. So another note on the testing as well today is the shaft lengths are different and the shafts themselves are different because that Apex UW is a bonded hosel club, cannot adjust it. So we've got the stock Mitsubishi MMT shaft 70S and I found a 70 gram stiff hazardous smoke RDX here for this 5 wood one. Legs is a little bit longer. Michael will choke down a little bit just to kind of make it as close to even as we can. It's not gonna be perfect, but that's where we have for the test today. And then we're gonna do our standard testing here of maybe eight shots with each, find the best six and see what the numbers suggest. Let's do it. All right, so Mr. Geiger, you've got both now. Um, you're looking down at that appearance, that address mm -hmm. from both. Um, I mean, clearly there's some big differences, but I guess, could you describe them for me? Sure, so in terms of uh, kind of the, the top of the face, the, you know, the, the UW has that really glossy mm -hmm. kind of black finish, very, uh, very shiny. Uh, whereas the, the fairway wood, it still has, you know, that sort of glossy finish on the back half, but it has that nice kind of matte gray chrome yep. look, um, which I really like in terms of alignment. I think it, it sets mm -hmm. up really nicely to the, to the ball. Uh, but the UW, it's, it's what you'd expect. It looks like a, it kind of looks like a, like a super hybrid. It kind yeah. of, um, I'd say in, in comparison to past generations, I think it looks a bit more like a hybrid, um, than a wood, but very generous face. I, I feel like you could feel very comfortable hitting it off the tee and off the deck. Um, I'm curious mm -hmm. how they perform. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's kind of weird that uh, a utility wood, you know, what does that mean? I mean, the from appearance, it's kind of a smaller fairy wood and it's kind of a larger hybrid. Right. Um, but I, I curious, it's interesting that you said you, it leans almost more towards a hybrid than it does a fairy wood. It so. does to me, just the, the way the shaping kind of around the neck and the toe, um, it just feels a bit, a bit longer and taller okay. kind of like a hybrid sure. um i also tend to hit hybrids left so we'll okay. see uh, we'll oh, see okay. if that trend continues perhaps a forecast of what's to come here but um all right you pick the club we'll start with do the uw okay that's some high ball speed right away wow so it's it's do you have a 19 degree? I have a club? 19 you degree okay. hybrid okay. that uh, I would say carries right around 250. It does. Okay. So this is this is a bit sure. hotter than what I'm yeah. used to. One five zero smash is a darn good start too. Oh wow! Kind of a tower, 
Yeah, knuckler. That was hit. Yeah, that was that was hit well. Okay, so definitely a penetrating ball flight here with the yep. with the UW. I, I, I'm curious too because clearly with a with a club like that, the center of gravity is more forward right. than it will be with a fairy wood, which is you know just by design, it's kind of a flatter. There's more weight behind the ball and farther back behind the ball. So I'm curious as we get done and look at the numbers of launch, and then it seems like so far this UW is pretty penetrating ball flight right Definitely. now. Definitely. Okay. Okay, just a little bit of the face open there. <laughs> Interesting, because it, it was funny, you did say the hybrids go left. It is. These this, are, is uh, this is elite and right at this and point. This has been right. High ball speed. There we go. It's definitely, I mean, that's under 10 degrees of launch. Yeah. Which is I mean, pretty low. So talk to me about the feel of it now so far. We've hit, you know, four or five shots here. How's that thing feel when you, you know, when you hit that thing right in the it, center? It's sort of, the, it feels what you'd expect, you know, with a fairway wood, you know, you get a bit more of that stability than you would a hybrid, but you still feel a little bit of that kind of hybrid responsiveness. I yeah. feel like I'm able to shape it. Uh, it, it feels... Um, it, it feels really, really solid. I mean, it, you can see the numbers. Of, it, yeah. it's, it's a pretty hot face. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I said, I usually miss left with hybrids. So yeah. this isn't a hybrid, but um, you feel that furry wood stability kicking yeah. in, really. It's kind of, you, you really feel it jumping off the face, I imagine. Yes, it's just definitely. Sp almost springy. Very springy. Wow. So uh, I have to ask about that one because yeah. that was the first one that I think I saw where the ball started left of the center line. Yeah. Were you worried about that one going like kind of your your hybrid left miss or was that not even in part of your... A little. I mean, obviously I felt like I squared it up a bit more. Yeah, you I felt did. like it was going to start left. Usually the fear with those is the the quick dart. Yeah, yeah. Kind of F15 banking hard is that left. Is that the miss you may have That's with, with your, hybrid. With your hybrid? Yes, okay, exactly. So. so that one, it felt like... There was a little bit of fear when I after the strike, but okay. that's that's just fine for that's me. That's good. Yeah, I mean that's because I, I just I'm trying to compare it to a hybrid at the same time, and we could probably just do a hybrid comparison with this club at some point. But uh, yeah, I mean clearly that left miss at least for you right now so far. Hopefully I don't jinx anything. Is is sort of avoided. Sort of neutralized. Wow, look at that ball. There's a little bit more spin on that one. Yeah. Bit lower on the face towards the toe. I mean, if that's a, a, a low strike, to see that still carry that far is really impressive. Yeah, still 83 feet. I think we got one more swing here and then we'll have eight. Yep. Oh, started to tail right a little bit. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, I think we do have a couple of clear yes. swings we can take out here. Uh, we've got, I think, this guy here, and we've got, I think, was it yeah. this one over here? Yep. So with that now, we've got six swings. And I really like how consistent that carry number is. Yeah. Um, to see, if we bring it up here, actually, we can see it's a 3.1 deviation number. I mean, you're like 256, 254, 258. 264 is this kind of long one that might have leaked a little left. Mm -hmm. A little bit lower spin than the rest of them, but then 258, 286. Um, what else do you see here, Michael, initially from the Apex UW that you that you like or dislike? I mean, really, the two of the big boxes, obviously, you mentioned kind of the distance consistency, and then yeah. it's just the the trust in being able to just hit my shape. That's with, with really every golf club, but uh, especially fairway woods, they're so kind of finicky in particular. You need to feel like you can swing as hard as you almost you would on a driver and feel like yeah. it's not going to go left mm -hmm. for me. And uh, you see that dispersion, um, even though some of those were, they kind of leaked a bit right. Yeah. That's, I, I like that 10 times out of 10, then um, the right. ones that start to creep Because it's nice, at least for, at, with those swings, you kind of eliminated the left side right. where that's, I know for a player of, of your caliber, that's a very nice sort of mental thing to have in your in your in your brain is right. go up to a swing as well i'm not going to miss on this side so i can kind of play for my high fade you know right. and um so that's i think it was i mean i'm really impressed because 
You mentioned, first of all, you mentioned that your 19 degree club, typically you play at about a 250 carry. Mm -hmm. We already got some more distance there out of this club. Now with the paradigm, I think this is the number I'm looking yes. at the most is the launch angle. And then from there, how that impacts obviously the, the distances and stuff. But my guess is this club's going to launch higher. I think quite a bit higher. I would be think. my hypothesis here, but let's find out. Let's do it. Already some launching. We're launching at 10 degrees. More spin. Yeah, that, that first swing kind of kind of kind of illustrates what we hypothesis. Again, we got more swings to we got more swings left. Of course. But. So not clean. No. Just looking at I can always tell right away there, there was a different sound to that one. And yeah. I also Saw the ball speed was dropping, but I'm actually kind of fascinated with how that one turned out. I mean, actually, if we want to go like this, just for the fun of it, I want to show you something. So that's a carry difference, right? But if we go to total, they're right. pretty close. So yeah, that one tumbled. That was just that tumbler kind of, as long as there's nothing impeding your target to the, to the hole or to the right. green. Let's hope this, that wasn't a carry over yeah. the water. Uh, off the tee, that one would have been just fine. That's just right fine. down the fairway, it's rolling a little bit longer. Yeah. Oh yeah, 99 feet on the height with yeah. that one. I don't think we got that far no. up there with the with the UW. And the spin's definitely higher on the well-struck one so far with, with this right. one. Okay, so how'd that one feel? I'm curious because that thing still went pr plenty far. It felt okay. Um, obviously, you know, I felt the face open. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but in terms of the strike, it felt Fairly towards the center. Okay. That was, that's an interesting one because the spin actually dropped a little bit, but your numbers are, I mean, you got plenty of launch, plenty of, I mean, launch probably partially due to that face being open, but then right. you still carried 257. So, yep. Interesting there. Slight miss there, too. Wow. That's almost the same shot. Yep. There's a good shot right there. Nice. So we got a couple left here. I wanted to get before we sort of hit the last few and, and finalize mm -hmm. the feel and maybe sound too. If you have any feedback versus the the Apex UW. Yeah, it's, to me it feels a bit louder. Okay. Um, you feel you what you lose in a little bit of that kind of responsiveness. I think you gain in that more stability. It feels a, yeah. a bit more solid. Um, okay. But. Uh, not as different as you would think for, for two clubs okay. that look quite a bit different. Sure, yeah. They do definitely look different in both color and shape, so. Yeah. That's pretty good. How that went, was that, that feel like a miss or that Similar, I mean, it okay. felt okay, you know, the face just open. Yeah. But, you know, in terms of proximity to the center of the face, didn't sure. feel horrible. Yeah, yeah. So I just, that's always something I ask about like the 144s, you know, cause, or 143s, you know, 145s. Yeah. They're just clearly, it's not like perfect, but I'm seeing the distance on the carry on the map over here to the right. And it looks pretty comparable yeah. to the rest of them. So. Ooh, there's a tumbler too, huh? Yeah. We've got eight shots. Um, I think those other, these two down here are going to be the, uh, Outliers here. Our tumblers. I think so. Although that last one was also kind of a tumbler, but um, yes, yeah, so let's go with that one and this one here. And from there, we've got numbers here. So I'm going to first break this down and look at the numbers here. Okay, so on top, you got the paradigm. The five, it's a five wood, it's adjusted up to 19 degrees. And then um, we also had you choke down a little bit just to kind of even out a little sure. bit of that, that shaft length piece, right? Um, and of note as well, the shafts are different models, but they have similar profiles where they're kind of you know, lower launching type of shafts. Right. Hazardous Smoke RDX Black versus the MMT Mitsubishi. So similar, not perfect, right? But here's what we've got for 
the numbers. And I think a lot of what we thought happens or thought would happen did end up taking place in this test. I think so too. I mean, it's worth noting, I, I swung the, the UW a bit more efficiently, but you go across the line, spin, extremely comparable, distance, mm -hmm. quite comparable. The dispersion was very comparable. Really, the difference is I feel like it's if you're the type of player that's looking for a bit more penetrating flight, yeah. drop that height down, the UW, great contender. And as you predicted, uh, the five wood's gonna get that landing angle up, it's gonna get that height up, and uh, it's gonna get you just a little bit more stopping power. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really about what you're looking for, because as we saw, I'm actually kind of surprised in a sense, we did see more ball speed with the Apex UW. I kind of thought that would be the more explosive club. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, because like I said, in the past, we've tested an Apex UW, say 17 degree club against a three wood, and it has been the faster club. So it has a ton of speed packed in there. And if you are someone looking for that club, maybe this is maybe this is the club that's going to be in your bag after driver. Yeah. Or maybe it's something that is after a three wood, right? But either way, if you were, if it's going to be dependent on what you're looking for, because if you are a high speed player looking for lower spin or something to chase out there, you know, we've got the Apex DW is going to be at lower launch, right? Penetrating right. ball flight. Something a little bit higher is going to be this paradigm. And actually, we should note on the spin here, if I were to, this last swing that you had, where you kind of tumbled it, if I were to take that out, it gets a lot closer in spin. Yeah. So it was interesting, though, that I kind of thought the spin would be more different. I actually thought the paradigm would spin more, but that also turns out to be a pretty low spin head. It is the triple diamond after all. It is. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that, that's a good point. They're really, again, you you, th you look at these two clubs down at a dress, you'd think you'd, they'd be quite different even though yeah. they're both Callaway uh, painted on the head, but the, the results are, are pretty similar, kind of height trajectory notwithstanding. Mm -hmm. And then actually that dispersion, as we talked about with the UW, is sort of eliminating that left miss. Yeah. There's a couple balls, yeah, that were left of center, but they're not, I wouldn't categorize them as misses. I mean, those are very much in play with right. where you'd be, that's right on your target. Um, I think, I guess I'll ask you, if you had to put these in the bag, do you think anything would be lost from your game? You'd probably gain something, if anything. Right? I, I was going to say, I, I would be very comfortable putting the UW in my bag yeah. instead of a three wood, really, yeah. and saving that club. Um, you certainly could play it. And I think that just speaks to kind of what the UW brings to the table from a fitting perspective. And it kind of speaks to the value of a fitting where maybe these clubs open up pathways that are a little unconventional maybe you may yeah. you might think you don't you know taking a three wood out of bag might be kind of crazy but for a lot of golfers out there maybe a utility wood's all you need right i mean there is for the for the utility wood there's a 17 and 19 and 21 degree option for you um, and you can also of course test those and swing them at any second swing store but like you said it might be time for a lot of players and even myself included like to think a little bit more outside the box like okay it's so many players like you mentioned at the very beginning of the video it's driver, it's three wood at 15 degrees. And then from there, that's either a utility iron or maybe it's a hybrid, but there are a ton of other options out there that you know, an Apex UW at 17 degrees probably plays pretty similar to a three wood at 15 degrees, but a little bit more control with that extra loft. So there's a lot of options. Here's a couple today that we focused on. I think we saw the clear differences and hopefully we're maybe helping at least one golfer watching this with a decision that they are facing in their bag. So Michael, thank you for joining and hitting all the shots today. Um, really good test here, I think. And I think a lot of watchers and listeners will uh, enjoy this one. Happy to help.